Now explain the group. You said you were part of a group? Yes. I uh, actually moved down here. Before I moved down here, um, I was Vince Carter was my first manager. I lived in Tampa for a few years, and Vince Carter was my first manager. And uh, when he went, he ended up uh, playing for, who did he play for back then? Anyways, he ended up leaving Orlando. So basically, I moved to Atlanta because I auditioned for a group. And when I auditioned for that group, I made it, so I moved to Atlanta. And then I was signed to Nooney, Noontime. You know what I'm saying? We were called Nora Lynn Rowe. It was Nora Lynn and Rowe. I was Lynn. And, um, yeah, we got together. We had over 50 songs done. Um, it was great, man. We had a single with two chains called We Know Everybody off the chain. But you know how groups are, man, girl groups, man. Like, I, like you see, it wasn't me because I'm still going. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I just had some divas in my group, and it just – it just fell it just fell apart you know i hate it because we were dope like we we got signed the same day august got signed same table everything we all signed the papers the same day all had a big dinner at the i forgot what what restaurant nooney took us to but we had a dinner celebrating everything so if the group would have been still together we would have been on top of the world because we were so dope we were so dope Vince Carter, the basketball player, was yeah, your manager? Yeah, that was my first manager. Um, that's how I lived, you know, when I was in Tampa. I moved from Portland to Tampa, and um, I used to sell my CDs on the side of the street, like outside the clubs and stuff. That's how I actually made a living. Like, I, well, I, work, I was a waitress too, but I didn't make a lot of money doing that. So I would sell CDs, and people would buy my CDs for like 20 bucks, you know what I mean? And I'm like, whoa. So when it, when it, the first night, I think I made like $400. The first night I was selling my CDs, and after that it was a wrap. I used to go to Blue Martinis on Sundays, every Sunday, and make about at least three, four hundred dollars every Sunday. So, and uh, Vince bought a CD from me at Blue at Blue Martini, and then he called me the next day and was like, "Yo, your CD is dope," and I'm like, "Thank you." And he was like, "Who are you with?" I'm like, "Really, nobody. Um, I'm not with anybody." And he was like, "Okay, well, meet with me." So I went to his house. And then I met Satonia. She's a, she actually worked for V103. I don't, I don't know if she still does, but I met at the time they were dating. I don't know if I was supposed to say that. But at the time, <laughs> Vince and Satonia were dating. So Vince kind of like, they just took me under their wing. Like Vince and Satonia, they were like mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? I lived with Vince and everything. I was in a bad, abusive relationship when I was in Florida. So it's like God is good because Vince got me away from that negative and put me into a positive place. So, um... Yeah, so it was a blessing. Yeah, that's how he found me. He bought a CD from me on the side of the street, and it was a wrap. I was with him for about a year, so it was pretty dope. <laughs> um, as far as Vince Carter, what's the biggest advice he ge he's given you or uh, most important thing you learned being around him? Being around him? Uh, well, when I was with Vince, you know, if, if, if something is your passion, it's your passion. Basketball was your passion. Music was your hobby. You found a, a artist, a female that needed help and felt that you could blow her up with your hobby, you know? But that's the reason why we didn't work out is because music was not his passion, that was his hobby and it was my passion. So it's kind of like, you know, oh, it was fun. Oh, I flew here. You know, I got, I got uh, all type of shows all, all around. You know what I mean? I was flying here and there just because Vince was my manager, you know? But then it's like, when it was time for me to go, Vince, I need, I need to go to the studio. I need to record more records, you know? Oh, well, let's go, let's go, let's go to uh, Club Morale. You know, what was it? We used to go to all the time, Whispers. Let's go to Whispers, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to do it. And it's like, it wasn't really his focus. I think it was just him wanting to make someone a star, but not really knowing what you needed to do to make that person a star. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, we just had to kind of part our ways. But Vince got me out of that relationship that I was in, and I applaud him for that because if it wasn't for him, I could have been dead. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's the pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, it was fun. It was fun being with Vince. You know, it was fun. And I met a lot of, you know, people. And you know what I'm saying? So. And then what about Nooney? Biggest advice you. Received from Nooney, or most important thing you learned? Nooney was the best manager I ever had, and I can say that to this day. And I will go back to Duty if I could. That it, it and, and it's like I wanted. I want Nooney to pick me up as a solo artist because Nooney was the best manager. That man knew what he was doing. 
you know, and, and it just sucks. I even was like, no, he's solo, solo artist, but he got so busy with August, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, Lynn, Lynn, you know, and then this stuff, you know, with me and the group and the one other girl, it was just a lot. But working with Nooney, I think, was the best years of my life. And um, I learned a lot from him, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like his little, his little, you know, I was the one that always, like, wanted to learn, you know what I'm saying? I think that's, you know, but yeah, Nooney, Nooney was the is a great person to work with, you know what I'm saying? And 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 right now, if he called me tomorrow and be like, Lynn, let's go, I'd be like, choo, I'm out of here. Because I know I'd be out of here with him, you know?